It was a lonesome Friday night. I was huddled within my own room, ready to play a match of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. I had trained in everything. My cat dog was ready for action. Lo and behold, I would soon dread what would be soon to come. This is the story of how I became the worst Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl player. There I was, queued up and ready for action, ready to really whop the silly goose, ruffle their feathers, if you will. I came across a SpongeBob player. We'll call him Jimbo Bimbo. I'm not too sure what his rating was, but let's just say he was bad. Like, bad, bad. I mean, come on, he plays SpongeBob. Little did I know, this man had the sauce. And need I say, the forbidden sauce. He chose Jellyfish Fields as our stage. What a silly goose. Sure, it's competitive legal, but dang, have you seen those Brawl Final Destination undersides of the stage? It's madness. Anyways, we begin the match with a simple shake of the manuses, otherwise known as the metacarpuses, otherwise known as the hand. We then begin to wish each other the best of luck on our endeavors in the set. As the 10 deafening seconds pass, the Spongebob player begins to kick it into high gear and start wave dashing at a level only a GOD could replicate. I begin to tremble in fear. I think to myself, this ain't no normal Spongebob player. This guy's got his Cheeto bag on standby. He has palms so sweaty he could part the Red Seas from just how much oil there is. But nonetheless, I trembled, but did my best to keep a solid composure begin to approach him, but as I realize the rapid wave dash from this man's hands begin to make his way across, I join him in arms and begin to wave dash. He makes the smart move of jumping onto the top platform. Me, as an intellectual, prepare to make my jump to him, but as I perform one of my last wave dashes, I hear the sound. The sound I wish upon no other mortal man. Windows USB unplugs. I begin to panic. What do I do? There's no pausing here. Cat Dog has slowed down to a painful crawl, and I am left with much anxiety. I begin to reach over to my USB, hands shaking, metacarpuses, if you will, fingers twitching. I reach for the plug, and then comes my demise. The screen went black, and so did my heart. A wash of sorrow began to hit my heart. I would never be able to truly know what that Spongebob player was capable of. I knew after our Metacarpus's handshake that he would be a worthy opponent, and yet all for nothing. With the sad music playing within my little head, I start up my PC, eager to run it back with a brand new opponent. However, I noticed something very peculiar. MY RATING! And it dropped all the way to zero. Is this how you repay your diehard fans Nickelodeon All-Star deaths? It was a simple mistake. But now I am left with the label of the worst Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl player. I hope you're happy! <sighs> to this day, I still haven't recovered from the incident. Sure, maybe I've worked my way up. <laughs> to only the second worst Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl player. But the feeling of emptiness that struck my soul cannot be repaired. I will become back my money.